yard player or like a top player from Xeno Kochu, which was really, really cool. I don't know if they still do that or if there's just an abundant lack of, uh, of players to do so today, but yeah, here we go though, PS2. Are these yeah. faces correct? Yes, these uh, faces yes. are indeed correct. Okay, yes. they are sitting in the wrong spots then, got it. <laughs> They're both DQ. Oh, the down air. Oh, the double Shit. dip on your chip. Yo. Good lord. Steelix will do that, too. Absolutely. Yo, that He'll was. go for it. That was lit. All right, bet. Yeah, so the early well, damage for Steelix is going to be really nice. Steelix is very, very good at reacting to when uh, you're landing. So, for yes. example, a lot of players will try to, if they do have the misfortune of landing on top of Steelix, they will get up tilted. Steelix is really good at baiting out them doing nothing, though, and then grabbing them. For yeah. Well, I was on the receiving end of a lot of that today, so yeah, definitely works out for him. And right now, has a commanding lead over Infernape. Oh yeah, I can see this matchup being actually pretty difficult for Diddy. It, I don't know about difficult because it can be annoying at least. There's definitely a skill curve you have to adapt to. Oh my god, yes. dude. Yeah. Yeah. Steelix, Steelix, Steelix is, is cooking right now. He's that bitch, bro. He he is in like that in a that, good way. That two hundred defense is cooking right now. He built like that. And he's a really talented fashion designer as well. So oh wow! In front of got a, like he's you've seen a lot of Smashers wearing his his designs without knowing it. Oh. For sure. He's also designed stuff for like Mizkif, uh, like top streamers and stuff like that. So he's a very talented guy. Okay. So and if you're, you're looking get poked by that up smash, if you're looking to get like apparel done or anything design wise done, he is such a talented dude. Go to his Twitter, Steelix, but the S is a five and the L is a one. Definitely check his shit out. He is so good. Anyway, enough shelling for him. He's beating Infernape's ass right now. Oh, yeah, no. Nah, this is this is an actual good old-fashioned ass with him. Bro's getting taken to the clinic. No they copay? No ass in the QR teams. <laughs> the cooking him in the retweets right now. The quote tweets are going crazy. The down tilt. Oh, my God. The empty hop off of that. That was really... God. That was some smooth shit right there. And he's handsome. Yeah. Had All these players... You, like... That's not fair. You pick, bro, pick a, pick one. Yeah, like, come on Handsome, now. good at Smash, or talented. Like, pick a struggle, please. Yeah, and that double dip, that was... That double dip was crazy. Every Falco dreams to fucking get that, and Steelix is living it. Bro was definitely in the middle of Applebee's with his spinach artichoke dip. He's, he took a bite. He was like, <laughs> I'm going to go for another dip if you guys don't mind. However, Infernape is a talented player in his own right. I am very eager to see the adaptation. I can definitely see come it right through. Now. I mean, this is a guy who has been on the hustle lately, and I, I def I've definitely oh, noticed it. And I don't even go to brackets that much anymore. Yeah, <laughs> yeah uh, I watch a lot of Xenos, but I can't make it out to a lot of them, unfortunately, just because work, stuff like that. Yeah, but. it's understandable. So the, the tough part, I think the learning curve here that Infernape is trying to learn is that all of the threatening space Diddy has at mid-range with Banana is nullified either by Laser or Shine, yeah. which go directly in front of Falco. So Infernape is going to have to start getting a little bit more creative. The problem is all of Diddy's like, really aggressive options that kind of play the game for him, like Monkey Flip or Banana. You actually have to think before using them. Now. Yeah, exactly. So it it's, it's up to Infernape to close the space with other moves, using normals a bit more. Diddy has such a versatile way to play him. I just think Infernape needs to wake up and tap into it. And as we're saying that, Infernape's kind of getting his ass whipped once again. That first stock was almost flawless yeah. coming out from Steelix. I want to see more normals. I want to see more up tilt coming out. I, yeah, that yeah. is good too. That monkey flip was saying. very good. I feel like you're not going to like be able to play your simple like Diddy zoning game with monkey flip and all that other stuff. There are ways to punish Falco, you know? Yeah. Exactly. There are ways to punish Falco outside of those Definitely options. Definitely, like, you can take him into yeah. certain options. Like, exactly. Yeah. Like Shine and Laser. You can totally take advantage of Falco for doing those options. I just think Infernape hasn't figured it out just yet. Yep. Up throw. Up air. Good DI. Not going to die there yet. Steelix also just, like, very crisp with the punish game right Absolutely. now. He is getting his damage off in spades. For sure, for sure. Yep, big up, up smash, smash out yep. of shield. That is actually the fastest up smash in the game. Really? Yeah, frame five. Teaching me a thing or two. Oh, oh that well, kill. Uh, he looks out of control like, huh? Yeah. That was all you, buddy. That was all yeah. you. That was a DI disaster right there. Yeah, that was. Uh, <laughs> He's looking at the controller like. <laughs> that was a uh, suspect to say the least. Bro, bro is, bro is looking at his hands like a surgeon who is, is way past his expiration. <laughs> his hands are trembling. I can't operate with this. Yep. Okay. But we're starting to see more punishment of these reflectors coming out yeah. from 
from Steelix. Let's see. Let's see if Infernape can adapt a little better. It's definitely and a closer game. Yeah, definitely a much closer game than the last one. The last one was just numbers. If you can hear me, can you switch the names, please? Yeah. Thank you. There you go. No, I'm so you. sorry. No, it's all good. I You're didn't want to interrupt your conversation. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I don't even mean that with any rudeness or anything like that. We were you, just you, talking about you getting would, food from Big Wong. <laughs> you would help him with vibing, bro. Yo, what's that? <laughs> Yeah, Big Long sounds heat. I don't know what it is. Uh, it does sound. It does sound pretty good. You put big in front of any food place. I'm like, alright, that place is probably absolutely. Alright, Inferno. Oh, All right, big damage right here. Ah, miss. He keeps missing the confirm off that uh, that down air. I think it's just the percentage window. Maybe he's not up throw up air. Yep, that's it. Alright, so he did not pass the vibe check. No. There is there is a vibe check on how to di that up throw, especially at the percentage that. Could you uh, could you teach me that trick? Cause I, I don't know it either. He said that you can. I just don't know how. Let's see. Is there a blue line? Can we, can we maybe go back to that last stock? Hold on. Let's see. The numbers clip it. I want to see how the, what he, where he was DIing, if we can pause on the blue line. Okay, so uh. I... All right, so he DIed. I, I'm not sure what direction oh. Steelix was facing. Is this thing... Is this thing I'm not right touching touch, that thing. The touch screen? Devin put his heart... Yeah, I, 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 I might That is use. meant for touching. You may touch it. Okay. I'm scared. I'm just terrified of it. But yeah, the DI was definitely sus. Use minus 210. Uh-oh. Efficient for a counter pick here, potentially? Yeah, stick to your gun. Winner's side. It's an Arcadian. The only thing you win is money and then getting banned from this. So <laughs> doesn't count for PR, doesn't count for nothing. This is this is this tournament is for Time's up. Okay. It's for Never the mind. players that don't get to play in the later parts of bracket typically now get this experience of playing a best of five where they normally would. Yes, as yep. Devin put it, the point of this is to allow people who have not seen a grand finals before exactly. see a grand finals. That's exactly. why we are more strict with our uh, who's allowed policies Correct. compared to others that are just like if you're PR you can't play. Exactly. And that's it. Yeah. And I think that's fair because there are so many players that skirt the line past being PR. Yeah. And whether, it's, whether it be attendance requirements or some other BS. Absolutely. Like. Now, as far as the naming thing that just happened, it's because Jeff made them switch player parts because they were sitting in the wrong chairs. <laughs> oh! And I was just like, no, Jeff, I had it. But under he didn't control. communicate it to the streets. He didn't. <laughs> there seems to be a disconnect. That sounds like As Alfred. per my last that email. Like <laughs> as per my last email. I think we're getting a lot. We're getting a much closer game this time. Yeah, I, I definitely agree with the stage pick, too. Finally, we're on a yep. flat stage. Uh, definitely. Can't. Don't want Falco with those crazy platform extensions and platforms are in very awkward places, so we were it's gonna on, be hard to get. We that. were on FD last stage, but maybe yeah. maybe Inferno felt more comfortable here just given yeah. how high the ceiling is. I guess so. That being said, the Steelix is gonna wax off that first stock pretty pretty hey. seamlessly. I feel like FD and like the flat stages are a double edged sword, because yeah, you're missing like platform extensions and stuff like that. Yeah. But at the same time, you have nowhere to go when it comes to landing. So if Freddy is trying to find the window where that banana hits, it you will not find it. There's like not a good window you can throw it. I'm pretty I don't know how yep. long the end lag on the shine is, but you even while coming back to Falco, it the still reflection reflects, property yes. is still intact. Yes. Which sucks. I know. That reflector is. That shit is dumb. Yeah. <laughs> Not to mention it's a frame one reflector. But Celix uses it really well. That's why I'm here talking yep. about him playing instead of being there playing him. So. I feel that. <laughs> All right, I love these empty hops. Steelix is doing such a good job of, like, Steelix's ability to detect, like, when Infernape has bitten off more than he can chew is so good. Yep, and that back air is coming in to close it out, and Infernape is now on his winner's so sock right now. Yeah. The gold Sonic chain can't save you now, bro. Oh, wait, that is a gold that Sonic chain. That is a gold chain. Sonic chain, yeah. That is actually He's fire. He's drippy. That's fire. There's drip or drown out here in NYC. Absolutely. I was talking to Steelix before. He's like... <laughs> this place makes me insecure about my wardrobe or something along those lines. Like, wow. like anywhere else you can pull off a fit, but in New York, if you don't come correct with the fits, bro. Absolutely. It's, it, it, it's the, the fashion drip capital are gonna of be the off. world. Like. All right, Infernape starting to gas a little bit. I, it's just tough because I think Infernape is now being basically had an entire shock to his system about how he's supposed to play. Like, I think Infernape is really good at his game plan. But now he is forced into a matchup where oh, he doesn't get that. Z -drop Finally down gets that there. angel drop right there. I don't know if that was an angel drop. I just know it was Z drop down there. Yeah. A lot of people call it the angel drop. I don't know if that's specific. Is that, what, the platform is that what it's called? I just call it Z drop dare. So like. angel drop, usually executed when the opponent is on the ledge. It's just Z drop banana into dare. Yep. Pioneered by Angel Cortez. Very, very old tri state legend. Okay, good Good to know the lore. I've heard the name Angel Cortez yeah. before. I never, like, knew the history behind it because... He was, like, a... I came at, like, like, the a, very end yeah, of Smash, Smash 4. 4 yeah. Yeah. He, he was, like, at the beginning in the, in the very, like, 
He was a big D Diddy pioneer at the beginning of Smash 4, and he was he, oh, he was dead. the shit talker. You love to see that. Everyone had beef with him. Good. But he was nice. He was hella nice at the game. Okay, big F smash. I like Hold this. On. I like these Z drops because they're happening in areas where Steelix isn't like is a little too scared to commit to the reflector. Perfect, yeah. big up smash. Not gonna kill. Not gonna kill just yet, but still with full stage control right now. Big fair. Okay, I like this. Like the adjustments are really good. Like I have not seen this many fairs this entire set, and I'm glad you started to scrap down air. Because fair is a really good move. Oh, oh boy. Yeah. But is it too little, too late for our hero? Now, this is a last hit situation, so Ooh, the whoever's gonna get that next, the, the next opening nut? right now, yeah, the reverse. Nut. Call it the contraceptive. <laughs> <laughs> and Yo! <laughs> just run up and do it. Just run up and do it. Here we go. Gets gets Inferno <laughs> on the board and <laughs> no, he's shaking up. He's like, yeah. Gave him uppies. Give me uppies. Oh, <laughs> if it don't work once, do it again. That was a that was a much closer one. We could see the reverse thirty. It, come out. it could happen. Hey, it ain't over till it's over. So we went out to the bell rings. Ain't over till that fat lady starts singing. I don't know when she'll be singing. But I don't, you ever wonder where these like white people sayings come from, bro? I have. You ever want like who who? What 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 does that even mean? The fat lady sings. No. What idea. does that even mean? What were they cooking in the eighteen hundreds? No idea. They got like churning butter and stuff, and they're like, <gasps> it ain't over to the fat lady sings. Maybe like someone died or whatever, and Probably. there's like an opera singer meant their death or something. I, I guess so. Or maybe she's singing at a funeral. Who knows? My culture is an interesting one. one and now we are on Smashville. <laughs> <laughs> now we're on Smashville, and it's going to be a pretty. I feel like this is going to be a whole different type of set right now. Like, the way the set has been going, yeah. like, to start, and now, like, now the pressure's off of Infernape to take that first game. Now he can, like, be a little more confident in his yeah. play. He got it. He got himself off the ledge. Now he's able now he's now the, the climb starts here. Yep. Then, then again, we haven't seen Steelix in a position where he's had to force adaptation so hard. Exactly. And given how mid-level players, just by nature of being mid-level, uh... It just adapts slower than top higher level oh, players. Oh yeah, of course. So it's gonna probably be a transit slow burn over the course of these games, but see like a good start. Backer, yeah. Taking that first stock with only twenty eight on the board for him, that's 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 a really good start. Oh yeah, grab him. Get him. Let's see where we're going with it. Chase him down. Yeah, I like this. We, we've seen Infernape now only opting to pull the banana in situations where Steelix is not able to shine it. Exactly. And he's that opting to use these normals, grabs more, smash attacks. Like, I, I am loving the adjustment Infernape has made. Absolutely, but that adjustment can only get you so far when you're now in the Falco Blender. Mm -hmm. This is top two. This counter pick, I, you know, that top platform, you're not getting that from down from that pretty nope. easily. No, you're not. All right, though, these, these movement mix-ups are not phasing Steelix. Nope, but that F smash definitely is. Steelix looking hella composed, though, honestly. Oh, yeah, okay. definitely. He's just like, yeah, I'm playing. We're gaming out here. Mm -hmm. he's, he's ready to play the long game. Oh, oops. Oh, okay. <laughs> My bad. Did he match out, or did that, like, just whiff? That was a... I don't know what that was, honestly. That was, like, an aerial interaction. Maybe he did mash out that early. I mean, Steelix is pretty low percent, so the mash out can be quick. Yeah. Up Let's throw, see. I passed DI the vibe check. check. We did pass the vibe check. Okay, yeah. I know you DI like down in behind Falco. I think it's behind him. I don't want to deliver misinformation on commentary for people looking to get better at this matchup. Trap. You Try can literally just DI. How do you DI Falco up throw correctly? Backwards. Back but backwards. if your percent isn't high enough, you just get hit anyway. Okay. Okay. Okay, so as long as it's not like a true kill throw, which if that, Woo! if Falco had a real kill throw Woo! like that, like without the laser hits or whatever, you see that 62 that just got tacked on? Yeah. That was That was some mix. Yeah. There's buddy. nothing you can do about it. Oh nah. I had the patience. Well weave the, the <laughs> laser right there. Weave. <laughs> now Infernape is receding back into the old play style though. Uh, We're seeing throw, the up banana. There, banana not, will not win you this one, my friend. You no, cannot no, win this one. No, no, no. You, you have to actually play the game. You not play banana. a neutral. It's very hard to work around a frame one reflector. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's why Falco is like one of those characters that's really good at shutting down like projectile play in general. Ah, yeah. Especially like from a character that relies so heavily on it like Diddy. 
It has one small opening to it that I do want to talk about. It's minus on hit if you're grounded. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Angel drop. You can just Free. punish him if he kicks the reflector in your face while you're on the ground. Oh, wow. Honestly, Infernape should be trying to get Steelix in that situation way more often. Oh, yeah. Where he's De below the Definitely ledge. where he has to recover. Like, that's where you need to be right now. Unless you're Tell Day and have, like, the crazy wall jump ledge mix ups, you, a lot of Falcos most likely won't get out of that situation. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> The hands that, off. He said, yeah. "Hands off! Hands off! Pause off me!" He did the cock. Get away from me! <laughs> Infernape, a, a much better showing as the set aged on, but Steelix kept it cool, collected. The damage output was great. That's why I, I don't like Falco. Definitely has his weaknesses. The character is definitely not as bad as people say he is. Honestly, people say he's bad. Who says he's bad? Say he's bad. <laughs> Get off me! Look at his face at as he's doing that. He's taking a picture of him. <laughs> Click. <laughs> Bro, hit him with the Cam Jansen. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. Look at that smarmy Hands Falco off face. That's crazy. Diddy's flabbergasted. Bro, it's Bro, he's just doing the yeah. boy. <laughs> Bro, he's doing absolutely, the boy. <laughs> Bro, he's oh absolutely gobsmacked. <laughs> Jesus. All right, though. Very nice showing from Maine.